you never do this, but if you ever did, if you ran out of dishwashing soap and you needed to use that dishwashing soap, not dishwasher detergent, dishwasher soap, <laughs> you can only use a tiny bit. If you use too much, it'll foam up and it won't do anything. If you ever had to use it, just use a tiny, tiny bit. Um, this one about a tablespoon was used, which is too much. If you did use too much and it starts foaming up and overflowing, what you can do is cycle it out. So I've gone ahead and put it to the drain cycle, and that's going to drain it out. And we'll start fresh with water. And uh, you can see here it's starting to foam out. That was definitely too much soap. Anyway, so what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to water that down. We're going to drain it out, and then we're going to go to the next fill cycle. And uh, this way we dilute it. And we may have to go through a few cycles of diluting it in order to get rid of the majority of soap. So here it kind of stopped. We can advance it to the next cycle. And I may have to just completely start it over. I'll do. Here we go. So now we're going through the fill cycle. It's going to mix with the soap. And again, this way we'll dilute it. And the thing is, if you did use uh, regular dish soap, you can only use it just a tiny little bit, maybe the size of a dime. And even there, you may need to run your dishes a whole second round to make sure that it gets thoroughly rinsed off. Because the dishwashing, dishwashing soap has a high foam content. And so, you know, mixing it with hot water, use it with hot water. It can work, but it's just not recommended. Not, not really uh, what it's for. Dishwasher detergent, much better. But in a pinch, if you use the tiniest little bit, it can get you by. But that being said, you're going to want to make sure that it rinses extremely well, which may mean you want to run the machine with no soap and just a whole other cycle to make sure it all gets rinsed off. Nice hot water. Anyway, this one looks like I'm going to survive. You can hear it cycling much better. Before, it was just cycling the foam, and it really wasn't rinsing very well. And now, still got a lot of a lot of soap, but at least it's it's propelling the water. The problem with the dishwasher soap is if it foams so much, it doesn't really use any water. It, it can't move the foam. So this one, I'm probably going to advance to the drain cycle. Go ahead and drain it out. And go another round. Here it's not running right. That's the fill cycle. Actually, want to go to the drain cycle. Try to get it to drain. I don't want it to overflow. There it is. And the problem with when it does this is sometimes it won't go to the drain cycle because the float won't operate properly. So again, that's the whole dilemma with using regular soap. You really don't want to use regular soap. You want to use dishwasher soap. But if you ever had to, just the tiniest little bit. So I'm 
and let it fill. And then I'll advance it to the drain cycle and we'll start fresh. Luckily I really didn't overflow. Just a little soap sets. There we go. Now I should be able to advance it to the drain cycle. Just wanting to go through the fill cycle, and that is my dilemma. Sometimes it'll just come pouring off the top. There we go. Now go through its regular cycle, but we want the train cycle. Mm -hmm. There's the train cycle. It's going to start to drain out some of them crazy seds. And this one's just going to take a few rounds of draining it out, filling it and draining it out to get it to do what we need it to do. Anyway, you get the idea. We're cycling out the water till it's nice and clear. Rinsing the dish soap with really hot water. And that way everything does what we need it to do. There we go. That'll work. Good again. continuing the little run of the Kung Fu Maintenance Over the Top series.